yet, but I'm sure I'll be discharged in a day or two. Mom, I was wondering. I've got this friend who's been pretty banged up from the war. Well, he's been blinded and lost part of his leg. Do you think he could come home with me and stay with us for a while? Oh, we haven't seen you in so long. We're so anxious to have you home. You want to bring someone home with you now? Well, doesn't he have a family of his own? And besides, we'll just remind you of the war, and we just want to forget about it. He wants to bring a friend home with him, blind and crippled. Well, Mom, he's a little scared about going home in his condition. He's not sure how his family and girlfriend will react. Well, it must be very difficult for him, Rick, but, I mean, do you really want to have him around? I mean, it's going to be very difficult for us to accommodate him here. And Cindy, she hasn't seen you in almost two years, and now you're going to bring this, this friend home with you? Honey, I mean, you don't want to be, feel obligated to, to spend most of your time with him, taking care of him. Mom, just because he's blind and has lost part of a leg doesn't mean that he can't do anything for himself. Well, that may be true, honey. But, but we don't know what the doctors and nurses need to do at the hospital for him, and we're not going to have them here. We're going to have to take care of him ourselves. Now, what's going to happen when you want to leave the house and take some time to be with Cindy or one of your other friends? I just don't know that it's going to work. Mom, I promise he won't be a bother. He's a good guy. Besides, he helped me get through some really tough times over here. He's got a girlfriend at home, and he just needs some time to adjust before he faces her again. Rick, I know you're only trying to think about him, but can you imagine a handicapped person trying to get around in this house? There are stairs just to get into the house. And then there's stairs going up to the guest bedroom. Well, I suppose we, we could probably have a ramp built outside so that he could use his wheelchair to get into the house, but... Well, I just don't know if we can put a ramp over those stone steps out front. Barry, we're not going to build a ramp on the front of the house. No, no, we're not going to do that. Mom, he's not in a wheelchair. He uses crutches. What was that, Rick? Tell him to come home. I said he's not in a wheelchair. He uses crutches. He's on crutches? Oh. Honey, maybe that would work in a hospital, but outside of a hospital, he'd probably have to use his wheelchair. And... Well, not only would the ramp be difficult to put out there, but, well, you know, it would look bad, and the neighbors would talk. Yeah. And what would happen when you feel it's time for him to leave and he doesn't want to go home? You know, how would we ask him to leave? Well, Mom, I gotta go. I love you. And tell Dad I love him, too. Bye, Mom.